Hey, everybody. Welcome to a Focus on Business. And you know what? I have got the man, the legend, Peter Crampton. In my own mind. In, well, hey, <laughs> we have to live it somewhere, right? <laughs> right, right. You are with B-Scene Pro. Now, I've known I've known Peter for a, uh, quite a while. And I literally remember when you started this. Right. Matter of fact, I was a previous client. Yes, you were. Yes, right? you were, yeah. So, in a different, we're actually going to talk about all that kind of stuff. So, uh, Peter and I have known each other for a while. I've watched his journey in this, and you know, it's finally I said, "Hey, look, you got to come in. We got to do a show about what you're doing here." But it's been a long journey, hasn't it? Absolutely, but a worthwhile one. It, it has, right? So it's like, I mean, just in this, we're, we're going to go back, but just in this right here, you've you've really done everything the wrong way to be able to do it the right way. Absolutely. You know, yeah. I'm talking from experience, not from something I read in the book. Yeah, you didn't go buy a pamphlet and go, hey, no. I read a book. Oh, hey, look. Oh, I can do that. Right. And that's right. what you did. You literally, from scratch, did this. Absolutely. So let's talk about what Be Seen Pro is. Be Seen Pro is uh, it's a platform for you to get your message out. And it's, uh, it's different than most things because in most advertising that's either set on a counter, put into a mailbox. Not that those are bad, but on I found, the back of a pizza box. Pizza box. But I found a way of putting your brand right in somebody's hand. And mm. so that's what makes it different. That it's phenomenal. So so it is a menu, correct? Correct. So what I found, you know, well, I'll tell you how it all started. Yeah, let's talk about this. I owned uh, gyms back in the Midwest, and I was, you know, when I first started, it was a lot of guerrilla marketing, going out and putting flyers on counters, uh, going to groups, handing out passes, until I started building it up, and I had enough money to do a direct mail piece. And I did a direct mail piece, and... Uh, I came home one day, like so many other people, and grabbed my mail and grabbed what I wanted and threw the rest in the trash can, right. and there was my postcard. Ah! But you know what? It worked. Yeah. Uh, but it was expensive. So one day, I, a guy came by my gym and said, hey, I'm doing a menu for Harris Pizza, I think it was. He says, would you like an ad on their menu? I said, how much? And it was a couple hundred dollars. I said, absolutely, I'll give it a try. And I got more people that came in off that than anything I ever did. And it was a, one of the least expensive things I've ever done. The least had. expensive things. Yeah. Yeah. So effective doesn't always have to be costly. Right. Yeah. And, and it is, uh, you know, my wife even uses, is, is, on, is on your menus. Now, Absolutely. And, and I need to be, I keep saying it, you know, but I, I'm just, <laughs> I, I'm, the, I'm the very epitome of the guy that goes, oh, Prince dead, you know, <laughs> but it's not dead. It's not. Which is, which is really, really good. But so this is, again, this is not just something that you, you, you just, you know, you figured out overnight and you've done all this other things in your life to get you to where you're at now. Absolutely. So yeah. let's, let's, so, so you own gyms. Right. So. It all started with, I had a horrible car wreck in 1986, broke my pelvis in 10 places. Oh. If you look, there's a hairline, I ripped my skull back. I mean, I was a mess. Now, I was 350 pounds, having seizures, wanting to, and I, I turned my life around, uh, uh, and I said, I want to get, you know, I, I want to get an artificial hip, and I went to the doctor, and he says, man, not your weight, and so I joined a gym and just crushed it you know and just went I, first on a cane and get on a bike and pedal 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 mm -hmm. watch what i ate lost lost a bunch of weight and uh started working at a gym and uh i really love the business because i had a passion for it from right. where i came right and uh my mom got ill i moved back to the midwest and uh so i the skill i had i had over 10 years in the gym business i i took those skills and i started opening gyms in the midwest great business yeah. If you like lots of employees and big <laughs> right. overhead and massive overhead. <laughs> oh, you know. Yeah. You know, I can't make it in today, all that stuff, yeah. you know. Um, so, so it, that's where it started, you know. And um, I, I just, when I, I sold the business, moved down to Florida, and I thought, what do I want to do? And I got my insurance license, and nothing against the, the insurance people out there. God bless you. It just wasn't my cup of tea. 
That's uh, where we met. That's where we met. Because right. it was Affleck, Affleck right? right? Yeah. I yeah. did Affleck because it was simple. I like simple, John. I'm simple a, is so much easier. Oh, gosh. if you, I'm just not a real detail. But they say guy. kiss, right? Keep it simple, stupid. Yes. Just keep it stupid, simple. <laughs> Something like that. I don't well, know. Keep it simple. Stupid. I can't even remember. So there you go. But I love it. I love simple because sometimes people ex- start explaining things to me about it, marketing or whatever it may be. It's a very complicated thing. Like Facebook. I don't, you know, if I want to do that, I go to that people that know how to do that. Right. Because it changes so much. Anyway, um, so I like simple, and and, and uh, this is a simple way of doing things, and so that's what I like about so it. So what did it dawn on you? Go, hey, you know, I did this back in the day. I was having my cup of coffee in the morning, you know, a little quiet time right. before the wife gets up and the dogs are barking. And I just, I don't know, I was thinking back about the gym business, and I remembered that day. And I thought, maybe I could figure this out. And Anna Farrell, who's a big uh, advertiser with me and a friend, I asked Anna, I said, Anna... Who do you know that's got a pizzeria? And uh, she said, "Go talk to Vinny at Mama Mia's." And so I went to Vinny and I said, and I made up a mock menu. You know? Right. So, you know, so this thing looked like a mock menu. Yep. And uh, I said, "Hey, I'm a, I want to do free menus for you." And he said, "What's the catch?" And I said, "The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put local advertising on there. I won't put anything that will affect or go against your food business. I won't put another restaurant, and I won't put anything that a child can't look at." And uh, he says, yeah, let's give it a try. Well, that was October 2018. You know, Vinny does a menu with me every six months from then on out, you know, and it just, uh, um, but I don't want to, you know, I just sound like I jumped from here to there. No. There was, that first menu took me a month to sell because nobody knew me. Nobody had ever experienced that with me in that field. But I loved it. I, there was something about it I liked. And here's one of the th- things I really liked was it was so affordable that the little guy starting off could afford to do it. Right. And I'll show you a little later. I've got big guys that advertise with right. me. But I learned, I made some mistakes along the, the, this journey. And so that's why I really want to talk to you because I want to share this process with other people. Right. But uh, it's been a... It's beyond my wildest dreams. It right. really is. But you saw me, you know. I mean, there there was three or four times I called good friends and said, "Heck with this, I'm I'm not going to do this." I said, "Don't stop. You got something good right. there." Yeah, you do. Yeah, I, I you know it, it's amazing. I can't go. I mean, every so I'm looking down at the menus. Every menu that you have there, I go to. <laughs> yeah. Every single one. Well, I follow you on Facebook. I find out where you're eating at. Yeah, that's what it is. John's going here. I got to go get a menu there. And and it's it's and it is. It, I mean, it is such a great idea. Um, we had this. We had a version of this that we we started. Well, we we were going to start back in the early 2000s with digital signage on TV screens, right? right. And it's like now it's it's. My wife looks at me and go, "We could have been millionaires because it's everywhere." Right, and I'm like, right. "I know. I just right. did, you know. I just." really you know back then a, a, a single tv would cost you two grand right right or you know a big one so you're yeah. like nah, i just don't have that kind of pockets at that point in time. right but now, anyway now it starts to fade a little bit i throw that one away get a new one yeah right yeah. exactly yeah. so it's it but so when you go in i mean how receptive now are the restaurant owners in the area well you know in the beginning i had to find mm-hmm. one menus now i'm turning them away right so I'll have people call me and say, I want to do a menu. And, of course, I'm going to look at their ratings because Mm -hmm. I want to put ads on restaurants that people love their food. Right. And um, and, and the other side of it is I'm too busy. I don't have room for it. In fact, this this is a great story. I had a guy call me a couple times, and I kept telling him no. Last time he called me, I said, hold on a second. I got an idea. I'll do your menu. You sell the ads. He goes, I definitely will sell the ads. He says, I already have people coming to uh, my place, and they have their business cards up there. And so I'll get those people to put an ad on the menu. So it's just really taken off from from me having to find the advertisers now that uh, the restaurants are finding them. I also have gone to tell them restaurants because they deal with people all the time. All right. You, I want you on my menu, and if they call me and I put their ad on there, I give the re- restaurant a kickback, so they get free menus and a little pocket change. You know? Wow! So, yeah, wow! I'm paying you to to make menus for you. Yeah, and, and it, I just, it is, 
it, genius. I mean, it's genius. But it, it just it it took it didn't it didn't just happen, right? You know, and that's and that's what a lot of people you have tried to. Well, I mean, tell them you you it it took you made every mistake you could make. Absolutely, it, you know. At first, when we first started off, we we're just doing a flat piece that goes on top of a pizza box, which was great, but I was limited to pizzerias, and. I'll be honest, I'm a, uh, John, John Beebe called me up one day and says, how come you don't do menus for us little deli guys? You know, and I said, right. well, and there's something about John, you know, I said, well, let's talk. And so we talked about doing a trifold and, um, and I did a trifold for John and it took off and it was great. And that really opened it up. So now I don't have to find a pizza place. It's got good ratings. Right. And, and now I've got do you know how many restaurants are within a five mile radius of any location, or how many, and and how many businesses are in that location? So right. it's just it's fr- frugal ground. That's awesome. Yeah, that is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so we actually have a video. Yeah, and then we're going to play this video. Normally, I would never play a full length video. Right. But we're going to play a full length video so you guys at home can get an idea. Of what this is all about as well. And don't be scared. Full length is like 30 seconds. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not very long. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Let's, let's play that back there in the back. Did you know, according to Nielsen Research, the average customer spends 109 seconds studying a menu and it only takes two seconds to increase recall, raise brand awareness, and inspire purchase intent? At Be Seen Pro, we understand the importance of those two seconds, which is why we put your ad on the menus right where they are looking. Your ad will be placed directly in the hands of restaurant seated delivery and takeout customers. Your ad will remain on the menu for future orders. Our advertising finds your customers so they don't have to find your ad. Contact us today. So that was easy. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Clean. Right. So, uh, so now when you're, when you're looking, so let's go, let's go back to the, what are you looking for in a restaurant to be able to do menus? Well, there's a couple things, you know, obviously simplicity of menu. If, if they're, you know, I've, I'm half Greek and I've gone to some of the <laughs> Greek, Greek restaurants. Hey, can you do a menu? And it's like, well, to put your encyclopedia on, a, I won't have any room for advertising. So it's got to be a menu that is doable to have their menu on there and leave room for advertising. For advertising. So, and you want obviously a great rated uh, location, uh, top of my. If people mention a place a lot, that's a great place to do a menu because people want to be on good places. Right. Okay. Now, on your website, I love this. I love this page. We're going to show this real quick. There's six reason to advertise. Right. Right. And um, I hope they. So, number one is distribution. Right. So. Let's say you just print up a little flyer you're going to hand out, and you print 5,000 of those. you got to go around and hand those out. Yeah. And you know what? You hand me a flyer, I throw them away. I mean, unless it's something that's just like really, like you're saying, free something or whatever. Right. But these get handed to them on the menu. So they, we do the distribution for them. I print them up. I give them the restaurant. The restaurant hands them you know, with their to-go and take-out orders. Or if they're doing a dine-in, some use them for their dine-in too. But um, you know, I'm gonna go back to something. When I did that ad on that menu for the pizza place back in Davenport, it was a dine-in menu. The, really? So I do do those, but I like my menus. That right. Got my, that not, the takeout is ninety percent of mine because your ad doesn't sit on that uh, counter. Thing. It goes in their house with right. their food. So distribution, yeah, we we do the you know for what you ha- would pay to print your own stuff and ha- uh, we you could buy an ad and we'll hand it out for you. Basically, wow, yeah. I mean, and, and you know that, I mean, that just takes your legwork out of it. Absolutely. You know, one thing that I don't care if you're Bill Gates or Pete Crampton, the one thing that we all have today is uh, you know 24 hours. So it's time. We're all yeah. equal when it comes to time. So That's correct. How can I? I don't have. 9,000 assistants and all these people doing things for me, I got to be efficient in my business. And so how do I get my message out there? Like I always talk about, we network a lot together. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than networking. Do you hear me? I mean, I'll say networking is better than any advertising you can do. It just, but I can't be at all these networking meetings. I'm I'm at the ones I'm at, but how do I get my message out there on a consistent basis to those people? So I have to figure a way to advertise. 
And so my my process allows the little guy. I've done ads for Avon ladies, and I've got some big advertisers. So whether you're just starting off or you've been established and you want to get, keep your name top of mind, I can help. That's Now, the next one, the next reason is affordability. Absolutely. So I have advertising as little as $250 for, I say, six months of advertising. It, whoa, whoa, whoa. Six months? Is that two fifty a month? Or no, no, two fifty. But you know, wow. so here's another thing. When I had the gyms, I'd have people come by. Hey, you are you interested in doing this? And I said, how much? And they'd tell me the price, and I'd say, yeah, let's do it. And then they'd start writing it up, and it was this price. Oh, then design fee, and then distribution yeah. and placement, right. and you know, next thing it's thirty percent higher than what we agreed on. I'd say, get out of here. Right. So my prices include design, everything. It's not so two fifty. One time for, I say six months of advertising, What? because I print 5,000. Some of them go through them in five months. Some go through them in seven months. But unlike other advertising, when the next publication comes out, the old ones get thrown away. My menus get handed out until the end. Then I'll reprint for the restaurant. Wow. Yeah. So no wasted ads. That is amazing. Two fit now. Now is 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 that two fifty per size or? Yeah, I have different sizes. So right. that's my single ad. I've got a double ad. I mean, if you see May Solar, but that buys a bag panel. Mm -hmm. I, think he, I think he likes my. These are all different menus. Boy, he is just the man. He likes that bag. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you a quick story about. So sure. we start off where I started. So I'll tell you how. So a couple about a month ago, I had a friend come in from out of town. It's Monday, and he, you know we're in Florida. He wants to go to Clearwater Beach. I go, it's Monday. I should be working. <laughs> now, if I own the gyms, I'd say I can't. Right? right? If I own no. a brick and mortar, if I own, if I, but I said, well, what the heck? I'll work from the beach. Right. And so when I was at the beach, I have a lady that does the back end stuff for me. Yep. She goes, Pete, here's our next ten menus coming out. You're that next ten coming out. I start off with getting one in a month. One. And so. I thought, okay. So I, I text Billy, Billy May. He owns May Solar. I said, Billy, here's our next 10 menus. Are you interested? And he said, yes. And I said, which ones? And he said, all of them. All of them. All of them. You know, and so that's a nice little day, 10 menus with the ads anywhere from 500 to 900 Now, that's a $900 ad. $900. So, you know, so, but it's uh, six months. It includes all your design, Right. Billy said to me, Pete, I've canceled all my advertising except for your menus. Dang. So people say, how's it work? I, I just tell I mean. Call May Solar. He'll tell you. Yeah. And you'll see wow. consistency. Anna Farrell, De Deborah Diaz, yeah. you know, I, Delyn Gaston. You know, I mean, we've got a lot of people that have been with me that trust me, and, and I can't say enough about right, those right. relationships. So now the next one, the, and this right here I love, is the exclusivity. Right. That's a big deal. Absolutely. I, I again. I, I I'm talking from experience because I have my own business. I right. know what I like. It. I, I sell the way I like to be sold. Right. And first of all, I don't want to be sold. I want information. So that's why I give. But I would have people come to me and I go, Oh, I like that. That's a neat thing. And they, I go, well, My own the only gym on there. Well, no. I said, Well, I don't want to do it. So yeah, I do exclusivity. I have broken that rule once. And that's because I did a, a, a menu for Harps of Trinity. Yeah, and it was a, it was a. We used that as a uh, platform to raise money for a charity, so everybody knew it. Hey, we're going to allow more than one realtor. We're going to allow more, you know, because this is helping a charity out. Oh, that's yeah. well. That's a, okay. I can see that. Yeah, and they too do it. Up, it wasn't like I sprung it on them. I said, yeah, you know, and it was only it was exclusive to WPBA members. You know, right. so they all were pulling together to help the cause. That is absolutely phenomenal. So, um, I I, I have to put, my head's crooked on this one. The reason number four is uh, branding. Absolutely. You know, we talked about it earlier. If I said. Uh, it melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Oh, M&M's. M&M's, right? You know, uh, the real thing, Coca-Cola. And they have branded that information to our heads. Well, uh, no, I don't know anybody in my circle that has uh, millions or billions of dollars of right. advertising. So, so branding, people need to see your message more than once. Well, we I'll take that back. If, if, if your message connects with a person that needs your service right there. It could be one time. It could be one time. Correct. But 
If I eat a restaurant, my favorite restaurant, which I have lots of them, like yeah. <laughs> if I eat there twice a month and right. I see the menu, I, I'm one of those guys, I don't know about you, that I know what I'm going to order. I'm still going to look at the menu. Still look at the menu. Look at the menu. Then I'll go that I, I'll go, oh, I'm going to try something different. And I do it and I go, why did I do that? I wanted to get yeah, that. Yeah, I should have eaten what <laughs> yeah. I should have eaten. I knew better than that. So if they see your ad twice, twice a month over a six month period, that's 12 times, you know? So I, you know, me and you are kind of like whatever, but I believe they, you know, it's important they see your message that we put it in there. So even if they're going to another avenue of, oh, then they saw you on Facebook or wherever it may be, why does yours stand out? And the other thing is, I'll go for, let's talk about May Solar. Let's say, yeah. let's say uh, I've been thinking about doing uh, solar and, and I see the ad, I'm calling them right away. But you know what? I saw his ad, I'm not even thinking about doing solar. Right. Two months later, my buddy did solar. I'm thinking about doing solar. Yeah. And I, I see, you know, so there's a chance of your ad being there when they need your service instead of a once and gone. Right. Now, these are also to go and to go menu as well as in restaurant menus, right? Yes. Like I, some restaurants use this exclusively, exclusively for their sit down, take and out, make, and uh, deliver. Perfect. Um, I, I, so this is a great point because. We all remember COVID. Mm. Couldn't go to a restaurant. Nope. And so my business, I don't be mad at me. My business grew during COVID because I'm glad I was doing takeout yeah. and delivery menus. So I had every restaurant you know wanting to you know do menus with me. You know, that that delivery business has slowed down but a little bit because more people are going back. So I have had some requests for people who want me to do dining menus and I do do those. But the ones that slip into the sleeve. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's just another great way of and again, uh, I want to advertise where people are looking and where people are coming on a regular basis. Gotcha. That's awesome. Now the next next one I love this was longevity. Longevity as far Yo, I'm not sure what my my so longevity because it lasts six months. It's not just a, it, it's not just a, um, a once and gone like I just talked about. Yeah. You know, your ad is being sold over and over. I mean, again, I love because I get that a lot, John. When I say two fifty, and they go per month. Yeah. No, for six months they work. I can't do that anywhere else. You know. No, so, you can't. So so and my, longevity with me as far as my business. Again, I showed you May Solar. You know. You know, what we're doing today is I'm telling you about my business because I want to expand this business. We're getting ready to get into that yeah. part. Yep. And so the long and the, the reason I want to talk about longevity is this is built up into a thing where I have clients that believe in this and are on o- menu over and over again. So it's created a long term, almost like a, uh, what do you call it, uh, recur- reoccurring income, you mm-hmm. know, because... It's just a mat, like I said, Mason. Yeah, put me on ten. Right, exactly. So, and then the last, the six. I love this one is qualified local leads. Absolutely. Uh, you know, these people that are going on on here are people that are local grassroots. It's not. I don't have advertisers on there. I'm not putting Coca Cola on there or uh, M and M's or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's just a good grassroots thing. I also believe that there's a subconscious thing. If I like kicking wings mm-hmm. and I go to kicking wings and kicking wings, they don't know I have his ad, that person's ad on the menu. They believe kicking wings is trusting that ad on their menu. Right. And I have had some people say, you know, for whatever reason, I don't like that guy. I don't want him. Men- okay. Cause I always ask him, I say, is there anybody you don't want on there? Because I've been right. in the shopping center, and he'd say, see that guy down there? He had a pizza party, and he didn't use me. Right. I don't, I don't want to help him. And so, But that's a great leading. Then, then you know what I say? Who do you want on your menu? Right. And they go, oh, call my friend here. Call, you know? Yeah. So they actually give you a lead to go, and that's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, to me, it's just, I could, I, you can't get a better, a better marketing option. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't believe so. I didn't understand why this works so well. And that my back end uh, uh, lady, uh, Lisa, she sent me this thing from Nielsen Research. You know, they research everything. Mm-hmm. So Nielsen Research came up with the thing that the average person looks at a menu for 109 seconds. Mm-hmm. So 
I guess that's why it works because your ad, your ad is where they're looking. It's not like they've got to go through a book and find your ad. You know, there's the menu. Right. There's the ad. You know, even if they're not looking at it, we know how powerful the brain is. Oh yeah, it's soaking it in. Yeah, exactly. It, 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 you know, and it's and it's kind of funny. You sit there, um, like you're never supposed to eat by yourself, but. I do a lot, you yeah. know, and I go to, and if I well, go that's to, a, that's a personal thing. Jim. I know that's true. That's because <laughs> I have no friends except for you, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you go somewhere and, you know, and then you get the menu in front of, and it's something like that you want to hold on to. Go Like they'll, you know, they, they'll take the menu. I'm like, oh, can you leave the menu? It's not because I'm looking for something else to eat. Right. I'm going, I'm going through the menu. Right. I'm right. Like, oh, right. these are people that are advertising and it, it helps my world because those are people that are advertising. So Absolutely. then, you know, me being a video guy goes, okay, I got to get these, I got to call these people because if they're yes. on there, they need to be on our shows. I do the same thing. John, I pick up all those things I don't think work. And I, that's how I got May Solar. I, he was in a coupon book yep. and I walked into his office. And I said, that's when I had the pizza boxes. I walked in and I said, hey, who ordered pizza? And everybody looking around, I go, I think the owner did because that's who I want to talk to. I said, hey, I'm doing, I'm doing menus on the pizza. Smart. He goes, yeah, I want to try that. Yeah. See, yeah, so so that's a great source of leads, right? Now, now we're going to jump into you're expanding. Yeah, so again, I made the mistakes. So I'm I'm uh, 66 years old. You are not. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> this is you look. Like, I can't say you're this, barely over 35. This, there, Peter. Wait a minute. I didn't pay for that package. <laughs> 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 Tell the truth. That's awesome. But you know, um, so you know, I I. If I was younger, yeah, I would be hiring guys to go out and do this. But every time I think about that, I think about employees again, even though they're ten ninety nine ers. You know, I I left that world of the gym with the I I don't want I don't want to be a babysitter. I just don't want to do it. Right. But so I said, how can I expand this? And I thought, well, I can teach other people how to do this in their area. Right. Now I'm gonna go back to something you said. You know, uh, I talk from experience. And I'm going to be giving them a manual, but they're going to have me behind that. Right. So it's not just something you're going to read. It's something you're going to experience. My experience, we're, we're in the process of doing training videos. Yep. We're even got an option if somebody wants me to come there and work with them for three days. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to be, is okay if we talk about us real quick? Absolutely. So <clears throat> I am, I have been in the marketing world for literally three quarters of my life, right? And I see the benefit in this. Now, we are, we are putting a studio, and, a, another, and, a, and actually, I'm, I'm, I can't let it all out of the bag. Right, yet, right. But we're, we're putting a facility up in North Georgia, and I am going to become a Be Seen Pro rep. Right. It's going to be added to my repertoire right. because, to me, my brain goes, I really kick myself for not being on those menus I really do. My wife, my wife jumped right on. She goes, you should do this. And it, right. you know, I'm like, and I'm like, ah, Prince dead. Rur, 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 rur. Don't tell me. It, it's just like, you know, it's like me and TikTok. I hated TikTok. No, I absolutely love TikTok. Right. But um, to me, it's, it's, so I am going to be in training with you. Right. A, I'm making your videos. Right. And B, I'm in training because I'm going to take this world up to North Georgia. Cause I think, you know, have I seen this before? Yes. We have seen this stuff yeah, before. Yeah. It's not, it's not, but here's the thing. You have, you have fine-tuned it. Absolutely. Right? You've gotten rid of the, so I don't have to sit there and go, oh, I could go up there without Peter and do this on my own, but God, do I really want to try to go and figure that crap out? No. John, I made money from day one no. with this. Right. But I make a lot more money now because... I figured it out. You figured it out. Yep. So why not become a, so that's what we're doing. And, and so now you don't have to sit there and say you're too busy because you can just let me go and I'll, and I'll handle it for you in the, in the meantime. And, and, but you have, you have one young man that's a great success story on this. Well, you know, again, I did said I just said I didn't want employees, but I had a guy that said, Hey, this grand deli wants to do a menu. Now this guy was a sharp guy. He, he, he would call on big automobile, automotive industry things mm -hmm. he had a stroke so he got uh the all he could he lost everything all he could do was deliver food for grand deli and he says you know 
Grand Deli wants a, a menu, and I said, I don't have time, just like I was talking about before. He says, I'll sell it. And I'm going, yeah, okay, whatever. So <laughs> I, I gave him the tools to go sell it. Remember, it, I told you it took me a month to do it. Yep. He did it in a week and a half, working part-time. So uh, you know, last week I delivered three menus. Uh, yesterday I delivered one, so I've delivered four menus in the last two weeks. took me a month to do the first one. So I'm telling you, I taught this guy how to be successful. Now he's like, I want to do a territory. I'm right. Like, yeah, let's, let's slow down. You know, but um, that's how, that's how if, I, if you follow my directions. Now, I'm going to tell you the other side of it. I, I sold a territory. And I told this guy, here's what you do. And he hasn't done the thing I've told him. And he, he's trying, struggling. He's trying to reinvent the will that yep. I figured out. That he's doing the mistakes I made before. I said, why are you doing that? So, you know what? This thing can be profitable. Uh, it, it, it's, it's easy. It's simple. But you got to put the, the footwork in. Yeah. Now, like I said, took me a lot of knocking doors. Nobody knew who I was. But it was amazing when I delivered that first menu and they went, wow, this is really nice. Because remember, I had a mock up. Yep. I said, well, what'd you. Oh, I thought it was going to look like that, and they were still buying, you know? Yeah. But when I showed them this on glossy and magazine quality, right? it worked. And now it's like, I, I'm not knocking doors. Right. I'm calling, John, you know what? I probably would have followed up with you if I needed to. Isn't that crazy? Mm hmm. You know, I mean, and it could be even a lot, it's even going to get a lot better because we're developing some systems for these new uh entrepreneurs that we're creating right to make it easier for them so drip campaigns with a when because i've got 300 clients in my in my uh, database now. yeah it's almost like i got another restaurant so i'll call these people first right right you know, you know right. send an email mass email hey we're getting ready to open up a new restaurant who wants on right first blah 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 gets it i've sold out a menu in a day that's amazing you know, make, so make 1500 bucks so <clears throat> You literally could take this to anywhere in the U.S. Absolutely, anywhere. Well, I, I think you know, like Montana, or if you're out in the middle. So you need two things: you need population, and you need restaurants. If you've got populations, the restaurants are there. Mm -hmm. So we, we're, you know, we've got it figured out to where you want to go here. I can show you how many restaurants are within. Uh, your your zip code, you know, I I've got a database of all that. Wow, yeah, that is amazing. Yeah, I I'm actually looking forward to it. So if 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 someone wants to get a hold of you and go, okay, I'm interested. What do I got to do? Yeah, uh, my my email's up there. It's Peter at bcpro dot com. My phone number is seven two seven five three four zero five seven one. And uh, it's that easy. It really is. It's just that easy. Yeah. I love that saying. It's just that yeah. easy. Push the easy button, man. Right. <laughs> I mean, but you, but you have to be, you, you're looking for qualified people that, that know how to go and talk to people, right? Yeah, that's, that's all you really need is, you know, uh, well, you, you know, I'm, I'll talk to a wall. My wife goes, oh, you're such a good salesman. I am not. I am not a pushy guy. I am. My but, wife but, tells me the same thing. But I'll talk to everybody. Yes. I give everybody, I treat everybody good. And the ones I don't like, I avoid. <laughs> but I'll talk. To, I mean, I just get, I, I get talking to people. And, you know, what do you do? And I tell, oh, that's neat. I, you know, I mean, it's just, it, it's really been very organic. So if you're going to do this, you've got to have a little bit of personality. But you're not selling a twenty thousand dollar widget, right? You're two hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Everybody in business, if they don't have two hundred and fifty dollars for six months of advertising, they're not the right prospect, right? And uh, I, so I'm looking at your, I'm looking on your website right now, right? So if you if you go to that website and you look at with average or work with us, right? Um, I'm looking at the potential earnings per menu. Mm -hmm. Per menu, right, right, is like six to nine hundred something dollars. Yeah, you know, and, and it's all based. I know it's based on your selling and your ad spaces. No, that's based on a rep selling. If you what? own a territory and you sell a menu, it averages fifteen hundred. I, I was hoping you'd say that because I knew that I knew how to lead you in on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even still, I mean, so if you got a guy 
I mean, and I'm not trying to sell everybody to be lazy. I'm just saying, if you need to go, look, I need to, look, I'm retired. Right. And I need to make three, $4,000 a month, right? right? Four menus, five menus. No, why your territory do two menus? Oh, I know. What I'm saying is, but if I just wanted to yeah. go and just, you know, say I, so I open a territory and I get four or five sales guys, I just need to make a little bit. Dude, that's the easiest thing in the world. I was talking to a business broker, and he says, "Oh, he says get this put together. I got, I, I, I got so many people who want this." He's, I, I said, "What's going on?" He goes, "You know how many people I've had come down? They've moved down here. They've retired. They moved mm -hmm. down here. And guess what? I don't know if you guys have heard. We had all this inflation. Their money's not going as far. They're bored. Yes, uh, they want to do something. Just but something. So you can either get a job where you got to show up at this time." Clock out at this time. Right. Have somebody pushing on your back all the time. Yep. You know, I told you a story about being at the beach. You know, some days I'm on fire. Some days I'm watching Judge Judy. Eh, you know, <laughs> I, I got a lovely story to tell you. So I'm sitting there one night and I'm in my pajamas. Which, right. You know, you know, the baggy shirt and boxer yep. shorts. And I'm on my phone. My wife and I are watching some murder mystery. And I got this big grin on my face. And, I'm, and she goes, what are you doing on your phone? I said, since this show has started, I've sold fifteen hundred dollars in advertising. Just I was just face, you know, like so. Yeah. I, I was looking at people on Facebook with their ad, and I private message, "Hey, I saw your ad. Look, that's a cool ad. Can I send you something? I do." And they're, yeah, oh, I'm interested. And so that uh, other ones were just. I knew a new menu was coming out. I texted a couple of my clients. Yeah, put me on it. So. I work when I want to work. I like to work, so it's not an issue. If I like to play. I yeah. don't like to work. So I just go out and have fun. I mean, I dress in shorts. I just got a logo on my shirt. For the you did time. get a logo. Yeah, I'm very I, proud of you. Wow. Well, you, you see me at these things. I'm in a, I'm in a comfortable <laughs> clothes, man. Sandals. And yep. one of my restaurants, uh, I walked in one day. He goes, are you working or going to the beach? I said, I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided he goes, yet. I, I go, he goes, I'm so... Jealous of you. I said, well, you're the one that want to open up a restaurant. Those restaurant owners work. They do. They work, work. all, oh, it's crazy yeah. hours. I love working with them because, you know, things have been tough on them. Yeah. And this is a just one little thing that they don't have to pay for. And so, yeah. Yeah. I, to, to, I mean, it's just literally, the more I've known you, the more I've watched you grow in this, it's just, I was like, man, that was you talking about being in the right place at the right time and putting the effort into from the, the from the beginning right it's well, just i mean i'm so i mean i i'm very i'm proud to know you because you know well you know it it's, makes it just it's just one of those ideas it's like why didn't i think of that first you know john i know you heard this growing up and i always did too find something you love to do yeah and it's not a job well i had to go through a lot of things i didn't love to do but they were good money right but i didn't have a passion for it yep. you know i mean i did in the gym business a little bit but when i when i started my own gyms you know when i was out front talking to people i love that when i'm in the back i was no longer i was an accountant i was a, you know i was an insurance guy i was, I was in a back i hated it i began to hate it i, I mm. like being amongst people so the freedom that this has given me i love helping other people because I love May Solar. He's got good money to advertise. But you know what's cooler is when I get that person just starting off in business and going, I'm trying to figure out how to get my name out. I said, I, this is perfect for you. You know, and they can go show their, look at I'm on it. You know, yeah, yeah. They've got something they've done. We give them the artwork. They want to go put it someplace else. Most places are like, oh, that's our artwork. We'll give it to you, you know. I'm not. If you find something that works better for you, go for it, you yeah. know. Well, I have to say that your 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 designer is really good. Shh, she want more money. Oh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> she's. I can't believe you put up with her. No, nope. absolutely phenomenal. I've seen her ads. Abs and the, and the layouts of the of of the menus are absolutely top notch. I get so many compliments, and that, I'm glad you brought that up because. So when I started this business, I was doing selling the ad. Then I was sending the ad off, to, you know, the what they wanted right. off to a designer. Then they were sending that back to me. I was sending it to the the advertiser, change it. It was all this back and forth. I, I thought there's got to be a better idea. So somebody that gets a territory from me has access to my back-end designer and stuff. We'll do all. 
We'll do it all for you. We'll send it to print. We'll have it, the, the menus delivered to you. We'll, we'll, we'll do it all. This is a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Literally a no-brainer. Right. Because if you're great at design, go for it. I'm not. I got great ideas, but to make you know to make it happen, to make it look like you know. Otherwise, you don't. You know. I mean, I need to talk to your designer about the new logo for the yeah. the cafe. So yeah, that's, absolutely. Because that is that is yeah yeah. But so so okay. So if I'm if I if I call you up about what do you think the training is to get somebody ready to rock and roll? Well. You know, with the videos that we're going to do, mm -hmm. I think it's going to be so simple. I'm telling you, it's like, uh, well, you, they can just, if they could do a menu the first month, I think they're cutting them. I think they'll do a menu in a couple of weeks if, if they give it 20 hours a week. Right. You know, uh, you know it's all what you put in. 20 hours a week. Where can you go and make money? Right. Right. You could so someone so say someone's working a real you know, a real four, nine to five right, but they have weekends and they have nights. They could literally start this. Oh yeah, and within two or three months, say goodbye to that job. Absolutely, absolutely, Just, the full time job, and go. I'm going to do this now. Why not? Yeah, I think that that's a great person. I also think that. You know, again, I'm 66. I'm not. I, I I had to figure out something I could do that wasn't going to kill me, and so I think that person that's you know semi-retired, thinking about retiring, a little afraid to retire. That's where it is. They're afraid to retire. afraid to retire. They got to have some income coming in, right? And you know, this is, and I'm not killing people on buying this call me up i'll talk about that but it's right. affordable uh to do i again i want to i want to make some money but i want to spread it you know yeah. i i uh you know i i it, we talked about this earlier about the guy that there's people out there that all they care about is building a, the, an empire yep. but why are they want to build an empire i'm at 66 man i want to make some money and have some fun right. you know right right uh, you know, so this is a it's a perfect storm that is absolutely phenomenal i'm trying to, i'm trying to make sure that we did not miss anything um because we got we have a little more time left which is kind of nice i'm gonna get back to my notes which is what's on um so what do you want to overall? What do you want to accomplish, John? This is the fun. This is the. This is perfect. This thing's so simple. It's like you got to think of stuff to talk about. You right. know, it, it's. It, I mean, we we could have done this in a probably could have done this in a thirty second. You know, a thirty minute show. We probably show, could have, yeah, but yeah. I just. But you know, no, no, no. But yeah. that's 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 beautiful. I think it's perfect. What this why what this is all about you yeah. know so now okay so will this work now this is where my my mind's been going will this work for other businesses other than just restaurants is this something that people can utilize like i'm thinking golf courses yeah i'm thinking you know there's there's got to be other oh, other yeah. avenues so i had a i had a uh a business community, you know, the, uh, uh, an area that had like 10 businesses in there. Yep. And so they want something to cross market. So I'm going to hand out this at, at my business. They're going to hand it, and it's going to promote those other businesses. And we paid for it by putting some businesses that didn't compete with any of those businesses mm -hmm. on there. So that did work. I just think you don't need to. Right. Restaurants is just the way to go. Absolutely. Yeah, because it's... Steady flow traffic, and people that go to restaurants have a little more wherewithal than somebody that just can't afford to go to restaurants. Right. So I want to advertise that people have money to buy what I'm selling. Right. So another check mark on that. That is, I mean, it's just oh goodness. <laughs> um, so, in as long as you follow the steps, you're good. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know what? And I, I, I've developed this over this period of time. I mean, I could sit and tell you about some disasters I've had. <laughs> Reprinting a menu right. cost me. I still didn't lose money on it, but I didn't make as much. But I don't want people to fall into that. Yes, it can work anywhere that you have a, a, a population that can support it. But again, if you're just a guy that says, all I want is one menu a month, if I could make 1500 a month, and I've got... Now remember, to do one menu a month... 
you need six restaurants, six menus, because they do it every six months. Right. So I did this menu in six months. I got to do it again. And guess what? When you're doing that menu again, you know what you're doing? You're calling up and saying, hey, that menu's coming out again, and I've got your spot, exclusive spot on there. Do you want it? Well, yeah, I don't want my. They'll do it because they want to do it, and they, or they don't want their competitor to get it because right. I gotta. You know, I say I gotta find a air conditioning company to be on this one. I was hoping, like I promised you, you have first right of refusal. And uh, now that now you say six months, so that that menu in six months. So yeah, you need six different restaurants to be able to maintain. Right, that that, so that type of. If you just want to do one menu a month, one menu you know, a month. I think I, you know, I think I, I do about twenty five. I was going to say, yeah. how many restaurants are you up to now? I'm I'm at the point now where I'm gonna. There's ones I'm not going to renew because I got better places that want to do it. Right. I'm either not going to renew them, or I might have to do that thing and get a you know like this Chris guy. If he can handle it, I'll I'll grow a little bit. There's more. always John. If you, yeah, I'm, you're in, man. Let's do it. <laughs> um, you know, and, and I'm not, I shouldn't say that I wouldn't, you know, I just want to find, I like easy, simple. I don't yeah, want, you, you, I, I don't want to yeah. be a babysitter. Right. No, and, you're at that, you're at that yeah. lovely age where you can go, eh, I'll let someone go say, you know. But you know what? There's a young bull out there. There is. That could take this. Oh my God. And, and do, do, uh, you know. A menu a, a week, a menu a day, a men, you know whatever. You know you got three people out there working. You could knock out them. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know what the limit is, but and the other thing depends on how fast the menu sells out is ad size. So if everybody buys a big ad, there's three ads on the thing, right? So yep. Oh my God, that dude. This is I'm actually excited now because we're gonna like I said. Um, well, I'm gonna give you an example. So we have a. One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to do a half cafe, half podcasting studio up in North Georgia, right? right. Up near Chattanooga area. And the front half's going to be cafe, the back half's going to be and our menu, we're going to we're going to have yeah. our we're going to have a B seen pro menu. Right. And it's going to be it's going to have the services on, you know, the front or the back and then it's going to have and I'm going to sell advertising. Right. And you know what the beauty too of that John is we don't have one menu fits all. You know, I mean, you saw the big one. Yeah, you have. We've you, got an eight and a half by eleven. If right. somebody wants to do something simple, you know, I've got a trifold one. So, well, no, this is a quadfold. So this is a guy that wanted a quadfold, and he, you know, I did a quadfold. He had a lot of people want to advertise on. I said, okay, I'll make a bigger menu for you, and we got more advertising. I made a lot of money on that. Menu. Yeah, baby. <laughs> um, uh, and then, then, oh, that's that's a quad too. But oh, here's something cool too. Just finished this grand deli. Mm-hmm. See what he's got at the top? A postal. So he, he wants to mail out half of his wow. menus. So we can do that, you know? Now, and so I see you have a QR code. So your QR code happy. Yes. You're, 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 cause a lot of people don't like QR codes. I, they're crazy, I think. But I, I think, to me, if you don't have a QR code today, you're just missing out in the world. COVID made that even bigger. Yep. Yeah. And we do dynamic QR codes. And you, I'm sure you, mm-hmm. but if you're out there, a QR code, there's either static. Am I right on right. that? So. Every time they shoot, it's going to go to the same place with a dynamic code. You can have it go to your website one time. We can change it on the background and send it to your Facebook page. Yep. Probably could send it to a a, a, a YouTube video. Yep. So, um, so if you you know, the idea of an ad is to grab their attention to want more. Mm-hmm. We want to make it as easy as possible for right. them to get more. Hey. So, yeah, it, it, to me that's you know. So it's so you know you're constantly now. Are you um, ever thinking about potentially putting this, but on on your on online like a website? We've talked about that. Yeah. You know, I, I I think it I think it would be a good move. You know, because it's just building value for the advertiser. You know, click on you know do even do a map. Click on that spot. You'll see their menu and you see the ads right there. You know, it just brings up a flat PDF of their menu. I guess that's a way of doing. It. But we need to explore mm-hmm. that more. I have a way. Okay, I have ideas. I yeah. really do. Um, so, do we got we got more time so we can sit and talk about more stuff? Ooh. So, um, we, when you first got started, what were what was some of the or did you have any pushback? Well, I think the biggest pushback for me in the beginning was nobody knew my product. Okay, and again, 
I was showing them a mock-up, so it was printed on my home computer. Uh, you know, it was, it, I mean, it looked cheesy, you know. So I had to uh, convince them that I was going to put out a good product. You know, now people know who I am. Yeah. You know, I mean, oh, yeah. good or bad. They, they know, know it's it. solid. Yeah, right. It's a exactly. solid product. You know, and, and the other thing, it, it was hard. The other thing is, if if you decide to do this, it's all about integrity. I've screwed up. Believe it. I messed up. No. I did. So we had a we had an advertiser that gave us a new ad, and the old ad got put on the menu. Well, what am I going to do? I had to refund their money, but I not only refund their money, I put their right ad on another menu. We don't cost, you know. Um, uh, you know, I ha- I've had restaurants mess up, and not prove it. They said they proved it. They didn't. I'll usually hold them to it if it's something minute. But if if it's something, you know, uh, or you know, no big deal. But if it's something major, um, I've reprinted it. I won't do that all the time. But you know, it just depends on my relationship. Yeah. And I'll, I'll give you an example. I had a restaurant to open up another location. They want to do a menu for that location. We did the menu, and somehow the address from the other location got put on that menu too so if they handed out that menu uh and uh those people called thinking they're going to the odessa location and their food's waiting for them in spring hill Mm. they can't pass that out now she you know my they she approved it that menu. i could say you approve that menu i said i'll take care of it i make enough money that i can do that yeah lesson learned and so we figured out another process, so that never happens again. Gotcha. So, you know, I, I told the, I told my uh, my designer, I said, you know what, we can point fingers, we can we can own up to where we made a mistake, if we learn from it. Right. You know, mistakes aren't bad if unless you repeat them over and yep. over. Res- That's res- called insanity. And Sandy, <laughs> and and they can be a teaching moment, a learning moment, and so you know, one of the, I'll tell you a real simple thing we do. Well, before we print a menu, we call, we we look at that menu, we call that phone number, say what's your address, <laughs> right? And uh, and this is for the Odessa location. Yep. Yeah, okay. So okay. Yeah. Now, so when you when you have all these reps out there, all these all these people that are 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 getting licenses and in, in territories. You go. Your designer is going to be busy. Absolutely, and we've thought that out. So my designer might be overseeing three designers. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So I mean, we've got a lot of growth areas. She's got. She's good. She gets it, things done fast. So that's not a first one. The other thing I'm going to need growth area for. I'm going to need people like myself that can. If somebody says, "Hey, I want somebody to come for three days and train me," so I've got to get people to go do that. Go train. And it might even be one of my current. Uh, Territory owners saying, "Hey, you want to make some money and go go train this person? They've got a hand. They're just overseeing something. So who knows? It that's all part of the. We've thought it out. That's good. You know, yeah. So you've the contingencies are in. You have them covered, ready. Absolutely. That is everything we think. Right. You know, but this is like I was in 2018 with the menu. I'm gonna, you, you know, the first guy I just sold to. Yep. I said you're going to be my guinea pig. I want to find out what you know where where, where the holes are. So, you know, we we found that out. We're filling those holes, and um, you know, but just like with my, I'm going to make it right. I'm going to make I'm going to make sure I'm available to make you successful. That's awesome. So, if if you don't move your feet, I can't help you. If, I, all I can say is watch out, North Georgia, Northwest Georgia. I want I don't want that whole Alabama, Tennessee, Chattanooga area. That's that's. It, it, it's yours. Hold on, let me. I'm I, got go. the, I got the agreement. Got now. the agreement right there, baby. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, I mean, dude, I just got. to, I have to say, and I know I've said this already a hundred times, but yeah, I, I've watched this from the beginning. Yeah, I've watched it, and I'm like, this is just genius, genius. Well, you know? uh, yeah, you know, again, I found something that uh, is repeatable and simple, and. Um, yeah, you know, it just it clicked the boxes before I knew why it clicked the boxes. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just, you know, again, that aha moment was when she sent me that thing about the Nielsen people mm-hmm. looking at the menu. So, you know. So, again, let's let's tell everybody at home where to go and uh, get a hold of you. Well, there's really three ways you could call me, which is 727-534-0571. You can email me, P. 
Peter at bcmpro.com. Or you could even go to our website and there's a, there's a thing for advertise people that want to advertise. If you mm-hmm. fill that out and send it, you know, just say, Hey, I'm on more information about a territory. We can help you out. And if the people want to advertise with you, the same thing to go same on that website, thing. Yeah. same phone number, yeah. same email saying, Hey, you know, I want to be, I want to be on a menu. Yep. And you know, Peter might not come see you. I may come see you. Somebody else may come see you, but somebody will come see you. Absolutely. There's might not even have to come see it. So I can send you it's here. a nice, like this here. is what you got to do. Yeah. It's really simple. The, Super automated. You know what's cool, too, about my design is uh, half the time, Elisa will get on their Facebook page website, create something, send it to them. Hey, what do you think about this? Perfect. You know? Done deal. Or if you need a couple changes, we can do it. So That is actually. Peter, thank you for coming on today, buddy. I really appreciate it. Hey, everybody, if you're looking, A, to advertise... Give Peter a call. Yep. Give me a call, or I'll give I'll give Peter a call. Um, if you're looking for a territory, this is a business model that is literally we all eat. Yep. Everybody eats, right? right? right. And everybody likes to go out. No one likes to cook at home. Oh, there are those crazy people, <laughs> but most people like to go out and eat. So you could just go out and go. Oh, you know what? This place will be great for Peter. Yep. Give Peter a call. So that way he can make a call or one of your guys can make a call and go, hey, it's time for you to advertise. Thanks for watching today, everybody. We'll be back next week uh, on Focus on Business. Thank you.